New here at 10 o'clock, a man faces charges more than a decade after a series of rapes in Kansas City. Jackson County Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker sat down with 41 Action News to tell us how her office was able to charge him from hundreds of miles away. Something sinister happened on these streets. He did a lot of harm to a lot of people. I think I, I feel confident in telling the public um, that's over. He can't harm anyone again. From 2004 to 2005, the Jackson County prosecutor says three sexual assaults took place in Midtown Kansas City. We did not know the full identity yet of the individual responsible, but we did have their DNA. Years later, the prosecutor's office tested that DNA thanks to a Department of Justice grant. With a lot of forethought by this office a number of years ago, they went ahead and filed these cases under a John Doe and their um, DNA profile to preserve a charge and preserve the chance uh, that we could find out who this individual actually was. And it worked. This is Daniel Meredy, the man whose DNA was collected back in 2004. He was arrested in New Orleans uh, for crimes, very, very similar crimes that he committed there. The next day, the Jackson County prosecutor was able to file charges too and notify the victims. Finally, Finally, you get to give them their peace of mind back. Kansas City Police just tested more than 500 rape kits from 2012 and 2013, thanks to a similar grant. Until we started tracking them as a specific type of evidence, they were just collected like all the other evidence. It's absolutely crucial that we do this kind of work. KCPD got 100 hits, 31 involved unknown offenders, and the department reopened eight cases from that effort. Submitting a sexual assault kit for examination takes considerable courage. And it's critical in ensuring that the offenders are brought to justice. No matter how long it takes. Justice can come even though it can come late. Jean Peters Baker tells us the next step is working out which jurisdiction will go first when it comes to prosecuting Merity. Here, he's facing charges of kidnapping, armed criminal action, and forcible rape. Merity's bond is set at $7.5 million.